I actually feel quite proud that a lot of research and a lot of policy work and advocacy have contributed to a whole lot of important policy change on public integrity and anti-corruption. And it's been a real privilege to end up at the front end of those teams, which is really what this is about. But at the same time, it's actually a little bit embarrassing because a lot of that work is about whistleblower protection. And that's such a key gap in the way that our integrity and accountability systems work. Far too few whistleblowers get an award like this. There are some. Tony Hoffman, the well-known nursing unit manager from Bundaberg Hospital who blew the whistle on medical malpractice in Bundaberg many years ago is an AM and an Australian of the Year local hero. Very often it is those individuals who actually deserve the honours, not somebody who researches and advocates for better laws and protection. I genuinely look around and go, I can think of numerous people who deserved an AM before I do. But nevertheless, I'm happy to accept one with the proviso that this just means that those efforts to increase the better outcomes for all those good people is re-energised. Hopefully the research on whistleblowing in particular is not actually necessarily encouraging people to blow the whistle, but changing their ability to do that and changing the chances of bad outcomes when they do that and increasing the recognition of the importance of their role. But I think for any researcher or anybody in civil society working on these issues, you don't get change without annoying people or at least provoking people and challenging people. And hopefully you persuade people. Change doesn't happen naturally. And so there's always a question about, well, how annoying are we being? How much conflict do we have to provoke in order to get the changes that are needed? And it can become very controversial. And so both in civil society and any academic who's working on policy change has to keep asking themselves that question. We're professional, we know what we're doing, we're evidence-based, and we think through the options and the answers and the outcomes very clearly, and then we advocate for those. But that can disturb people because things have got to change. So I think one of the really gratifying things about a recognition in Australia's national honours is to say, effectively, that's part of the job. We should do that. We should be professional. We should be evidence-based. We should do the best quality research. We should be absolutely non-partisan politically. We should pursue the right policy outcomes for the right reasons that will serve the people of Australia and the world. But we should not pull our punches in terms of recognising that it's hard work and that we have to shift people, sometimes challenging their thinking in order to get different policy outcomes, different legislative interventions, etc., It's a validation of the fact that we are pursuing the right issues with the right approach and that we should continue to pursue those issues until it's time for others to take over pursuing the, those reform processes further.